second question that Jed asks is, who are your favourite harmonica players, apart from, of course, yourself? Um, and what do you like best about their style? Um, that wasn't his question. That wasn't me saying that my, my own playing is one of my favourites, because it's not. I mean, the people that I really admire are probably the people who do things differently from me or just kind of go to a different extreme. I mean, first off, Paul DeLay, who I know I've mentioned in other videos, my absolute favourite harmonica player. So, so creative. Um, one of the things I really like about Paul DeLay was he that he he'd kind of jump around the harmonica um, in unpredictable ways. So sometimes you'd hear him play a, a lick at the bottom of the harp and then he'd just jump up. So you might hear... And then he'd just keep going again. He'd just put that in the middle. I mean, it's quite common to put that at the end of a song, big sort of finish and do the uh, big blow bend on, on holds 9 and 10 to finish a song, but he'd do it in the middle of a song. Also, his phrases just didn't seem to come from the usual kind of sources of harmonica. It goes back to what I've said about um, listening to as much music as possible. If you're listening to different players, not just harmonica players, if you're listening to horn players, if you're listening to guitarists, if you're listening to singers, You'll pick up bits of what they're doing and your playing won't just sound like everyone else's. There's nothing wrong with wanting to sound like Little Walter or Big Walter or Kim Wilson or whoever. But it's quite nice if you get your own take on things. And that's why Paul DeLay is my favourite harmonica player. I just think that there are things he does which are just unlike anyone else and unpredictable. And his phrases, if you try and work them out, you go oh, that's not the kind of thing that I'm used to playing or that most players would play. So he's, I mean, he's the best of the best, in my opinion, in that sense. Um, there were other players I really admire. I love um, Carlos Del Junco's playing. I think what I like about Carlos Del Junco is he uses a lot of overblows, but he uses them very tastefully in a kind of a bluesy context. So... He does write uh, and record kind of more jazzy tunes, but he's not strictly a jazzer. I mean, I I like a bit of jazz, but I'm not a kind of real sort of heavy jazz fan. So there are wonderful, wonderful jazz harmonica players out there, but I like Carlos because he's got the chromaticism that comes with the more jazzy players, but he plays a lot of bluesy stuff. So again, if you listen to his solos, he doesn't sound just like the older guys that, that we all end up sounding like, in a way. Um, so, uh, I hope that you have heard of Carlos Del Junco. If not, I'll, I'll put some links up. I'll put some links to Paul DeLay as well. Um, so he's another favourite of mine. Jason Ritchie. I love Jason Ritchie. I think he's... he's uh, Sometimes Jason Ritchie gets a bit of stick for being kind of fast and complicated. I think he's really musical. His his choice of notes fits with the chords, and that's what I think stands him apart from other players who might play just as fast but don't actually fit with the chords um, particularly well. Gary Primich, he's a wonderful harmonic player. He he um again just lovely tone that Gary Primich has um, or had. I never actually got to see him play live, but from his records, Gary Primich, really, really um, lovely tone, big, big sort of sound to his playing. Um, I like all the usuals as well. I mean, the usual suspects, so Sonny Boy Williamson, the first, the second, Big and Little Walter, um, I love Kim Wilson, uh, all the usual guys, Sonny Terry, I mean, for sort of acoustic country stuff. They're all wonderful, so just devour it all if you're just coming to the harmonica.